The big story this morning is uh, the uh, agreement among Euro finance ministers and the International Monetary Fund on measures for a Greek relief package. Uh, the uh, agreement came after uh, 13 hours of negotiations, which have been going on now for the last two, three weeks. The uh, debt agreement came as a big relief for the markets, and uh, the euro uh, jumped a little bit after it was clear that the uh, ministers had agreed on then uh, releasing uh, new aid for the uh, debt-stricken Greek economy. The euro is, was trading at 130.10 in the early morning and it's now back again to 129.85. Also the markets in Asia are up this morning, also a little relief rally after the agreement in Brussels. The uh, uh, index for the South Asian Pacific is up 0.6% after American markets were more or less flat yesterday. Oil prices are steady at 111 for Brent crude and around 88 for New York crude. Gold is uh, still around 17.50. Uh, a little bit below the uh, peak reached on Friday, 1754. Also, silver is climbing a little bit in the morning hours, uh, 3420. Uh, the currencies are uh, more or less stable. The Japanese yen gained a little bit against the US dollar in early Asian trade but is now back on 82, 10, 18, 15. The Australian dollar is stronger on the news from Brussels and also due to the fact that there are news from China telling about big infrastructural programs in China. Today I think that we are going to see a rather quiet trading day. Might be that we would see stronger stock markets in Europe and might be also a little bit upward trend in the US. But now after the uh, debt crisis in Greece at least is solved for now, then we are, the concerns would be back to the fiscal cliff and the negotiations between Democrats and Republicans in the United States. If these negotiations are going to drag on, this is going to create new market nervousness and also then reduced risk appetite from investors. I wish all of you a very good trading day from United World Capital and Cyprus.